No need. I love the new Zoom function. So yeah, welcome everybody. My name is Hendrik. I'm one of your hosts of the Lightwork Collective. Pleasure having you here, all the familiar faces and some of the new. Um, to kick this off, uh, I'd invite you to open up the chat window and let us know from where you're calling in from. It's always a cool thing that we're a global community, so to see from where, where do your feet touch the ground? Where are you physical present? So we have Jansburg. Big ciao from Italy. <laughs> is that the city or is that more the hello week? <laughs> Italy, Mexico City, Atlanta, Georgia, Styria, Austria. I know Dallas, Texas, from Carmel, Texas, tiny village, New York City, New York, nice, cool. So, and we have our brothers and sisters who are not here physically present with us today out of the Lightwork Collective. So I always like to invite you guys to just listening from where we're calling in to imagine us being little light bubbles around the planet, all being connected through the Zoomiverse today, but then obviously in the ecosystem and around the globe, we're all in one big connection. And tuning in, increasing our vibration, that's where this all came from. Uh, issues, let me know. I'm happy to help to the best of my capabilities. Once we start the meditation, I will not be able to help because I'm in meditation myself. Um, yeah. Only thing left to do, make sure that you're settled in, feel comfortable, ready to go, have a glass of water handy. And with that, I hand it over to Inken to introduce what today. Thank you very much, Henrik. Yeah, a warm welcome also from me, everybody. My name is Inken and I'm also one of your hosts of the Lightware Collective. I'd love to hand you over to our master trends. <laughs> I call him like that. <laughs> because he is a real master as he he really set the foundation for this meditation he was in the beginning always doing the guidances and he he did an incredible job building a solid foundation to where we are at today and and i'm very grateful for that so much love to you trent i'm really excited for what you prepared for us today the Library Collective stands for empowerment and uh, Trent always creates very, very powerful empowerment meditations. So I'm, I'm looking forward to what's happening today and I hand it over to you. Much love. Okay, thanks a lot. And thanks everybody for being here despite uh, the holiday. Um, you know, today's theme is freedom. I tried to wear the shirt for you to, you know, to wear it, to be it, to, to share it today. Uh, before we begin and really get into our topic for today, I want to introduce uh, two friends of mine from that we played in a band together called Soul Power. They're here from Tyler, Texas. This is Kevin and Stacy Marshall. Here they are today. And um, what's pretty cool is is they've gotten into making the meditation music. So you know, so many times you know we'd put on these meditations and there's background music, and um, you know it turns out two friends of mine that actually played in the band with or actually making meditation music. So it's like one of those really awesome synchronicities and um, coincidences, if you will, even though it's not really a coincidence, I guess. But it's awesome that, that they're doing that. And today we're going to be using one of their tracks um, when we do our meditations part. So uh, Kevin, Stacy, you guys want to talk about uh, your music at all? You want to give it, fill us in on uh, kind of how that works? Uh, well, not really much to say. Uh, the, the, the biggest thing is um, we use these, the, the meditation music to, to help us. Um, I put uh, always a solfeggio tone or, or some sort of tone in there, typically a, a 432 or a 528 hertz, really a total body healing. And for those of you using headphones today, I also uh, typically put binaural beats uh, so today we'll have, a, I believe, a 8 hertz alpha wave. So if you've got headphones on, enjoy the, the wavering tone in the background while, while Trent leads us. So grateful to be here. Awesome. And, uh, and guys, be sure to uh, get a link or um, 
some information after we finish. You, you're welcome to share that, and everybody can find your channel and and how to how to connect with you. So, so cool. So, guys, before we get into uh, meditation, I want to do a little bit of uh, choose your own adventure type today. I don't know if you guys remember those books, but uh, I was into that when I was a kid at the library. And um, what I want you to do is to check in and 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 in the chat. Tell me where you are with breaking free. So what is, what is something or an area of your life that maybe you want to experience more freedom in? So for instance, maybe you're trying to get over a relationship, right? You're trying to break free from that. Maybe you are trying to break free from limitations uh, around entrepreneurship. Maybe you are trying to, um, I mean, you get the idea, right? What, where, where are you with that? So checking in. And again, sharing that in the chat, please, so that I can have uh, some inspiration. So letting go of old stories. Okay. Where else? Financial freedom. Yeah. Getting out of those limitations. Old relationships, okay. Wow, Hendrick, you really came up big for us, guy. Stepping into my power, living from my truth, saying no, yes, with strength, being willing to host, stand up for what I believe, truly stand up and fight for co uh, semicolon financial freedom. I don't know, fight for financial freedom or just, that's another thought, but but I, uh, I like that sharing. Emotional blocks, um, old relationships, okay. Relationship. Wow, that's uh, that's coming up a lot today. So we've got a we've got a common thread with that. Um, anybody else sharing? Go ahead and quickly do that so we can. Fight for truth, belief, beauty, beautify life, etc. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, so let's move on. The next thing that I want to do today, guys, is start with a tapping session. So we've done that in um, the session with Cynthia, but I want to do a, uh, a freedom tapping really quick. And then from there, we'll go into our meditation. So this is a format similar to a healing circle to where when, when we had a healing circle, I think Kevin and Stacy, or Stacy, I think you def, did you ever come? I think you, you came to some healing circles, right? Sorry. Yes, I, I remember this. Yeah. So, I mean, all I'm saying is that that's, this is a similar format as far as like starting off interactively and then going into the meditation after that. I wanted to, I wanted to give these guys a taste of that today. So uh, who would like to be my echo today? I need somebody to be my echo. Barbara's camera immediately shut off. So I think that's a, that's a, that's a no thanks from Barbara. <laughs> Vivian, you. What does that mean? <laughs> okay, so that means that after I say a phrase, that you'll say a phrase because everybody's going to repeat it. So just for those of you that haven't been to a, a tapping yet, that's going to be you're starting with the tapping point. So you'd be mimicking the tapping points, and then you'd say, for instance, um, even though I don't feel free, and I and I'll pause, and then you would say. Even though I don't feel free. I still love, honor, and accept myself. I still love, honor, and accept myself. Right. So basically, you're, you're helping everybody um, to have that time to be able to say it for themselves. Cool? Okay. All right. Quick review of the tapping points, guys. It's side of the hand. It's uh, eyebrow point here. It's side of the eye here. Under the eye here under the nose, under the mouth, collarbone. So this is like the U shape. You can be all over that from here to here. I usually like to be about here. Under the arm. So you go beneath your armpit. It's actually about right here. And then you go top of the head. Yeah. And if you forget, guys, just you can stay on the one that's your favorite or one that you feel a lot of release from. Okay? Good. 
All right, so here we go. Let's get started. Starting with the uh, karate chop point. Okay, get into it. Even though I want to be more free. Even though I want to be more free. I still love, honor, and accept myself now. I still love, honor, and accept myself now. Even though I want some things to change. Even though I want some things to change. I want more financial abundance. I want more financial abundance. I want to be free from these old relationships. I want to be free from old relationships. So even though I'm feeling these limitations, so even though I'm feeling these limitations, I still love, honor, and accept myself. I still love, honor, and accept myself. All these chains. All these chains. All these limits. All these limits. All these heavy emotions within me. All these heavy emotions within me. All this guilt. All this guilt. All this shame. All this shame. All this emotional pain. All this emotional pain. I want to change. I want to change. I want to let this go. I want to let this go. But I don't always know how. But I don't always know how. All this grief. All this grief. All this sadness. All this sadness. I feel it's heaviness. I feel this heaviness. And I'm willing for things to change. And I'm willing to make the change. All this anger. All this anger. All this frustration. All this frustration. All this sense of defeat. All the sense of defeat. Around these topics. Around these topics. I feel sadness. I feel sadness. But I'm willing to break free. But I'm willing to break free. I'm willing to do this tapping now. I'm willing to do this tapping now. I'm willing to show up to this meditation. I'm willing to show up to this meditation. So I'm showing myself that I am willing to do things. So I'm showing myself I'm willing to do things. I'm willing to change. I'm willing to change. I'm willing to improve. I'm willing to approve. I'm willing to address what I need to address. I'm willing to address what I need to address. And I'm allowing myself to change. And I am allowing myself to change. I'm allowing myself grace. I'm allowing myself grace. I'm allowing myself support. I am allowing myself support. And I'm giving myself space. And I'm giving myself space. And whatever else I need. For whatever else I need. I'm being gentle with myself. I'm being gentle with myself. Kind, understanding. Kind and understanding. I'm allowing myself what I need. I am allowing myself what I need. And I'm willing to even love myself. And I'm willing to even love myself. I'm willing to love what I perceive as flaws. I'm willing to love what I perceive as flaws. Willing to love myself where I've previously judged myself. I'm willing to love myself where I previously judged myself. I'm willing to let go of some of this weight. 
willing to let go of some of these things. Willing to let go of some of this heaviness. I'm willing to let go. Skip one to last. Willing to feel lighter. I'm willing to feel lighter. I'm willing to tune in to love. I'm willing to tune in to love. Willing to tune in to lightness. I'm willing to tune into lightness. I'm willing to feel better. I am willing to feel better. I'm willing to let go. I'm willing to let go. Thank you for my progress. Thank you for my progress. Thank you that I am feeling better. Thank you that I'm feeling better. Thank you that I am letting go. Thank you that I'm letting go. Thank you that I am breathing. Thank you that I'm breathing. Thank you that I am blessed. Thank you that I'm blessed. Thank you that I have so much to be grateful for. Thank you that I have so much to be grateful for. Thank you that I am already feeling better. Thank you that I am already feeling better. Thank you that there are people in my life that I love. Thank you that there are people in my life that I love. Thank you that I always have enough. Thank you that I always have enough. Thank you that I am lightening up. Thank you that I am lighting up. Thank you that I am letting go. Thank you that I am letting go. Thank you that I am feeling better and better. Thank you that I'm feeling better and better. In body, mind, and spirit. In body, mind, and spirit. Okay, take a deep breath. Allow yourself to notice how you feel, to notice what's there, what's present. Make that mind-body connection. We're going to transition, guys, into our meditation from here, okay? So sitting back, relaxing, start the music. Allowing yourself to get comfortable, finding your space, and go ahead and take a deep breath. And as you exhale, you can sigh out anything you need to sigh out. Become even more aware of your body, relaxing your scalp, relaxing your face, relaxing your eyes, even with your eyes closed, letting those eyes relax. Relax your jaw. Let relaxation flow down your neck, into your shoulders, down your arms, down your chest and back, relaxing. More and more, stomach inside and out, relaxing. Relaxing your hips, Relaxing your legs, 
down into your feet, becoming more present, more comfortable here and now, more relaxed, more inward. Noticing your breathing, notice that you're breathing nice and easy. Deeper, more comfortable, letting the rest kick in, letting the relaxation flow over you. So you can imagine where your base of the spine is touching the floor or the chair. And imagine that roots are coming out of the base of your spine from your root chakra as they go down into the earth. Deep, safe, going all the way to the center of the earth. Connecting with the pulsating life energy there. And imagining that earth energy returning upwards through your roots and into your body. Allowing yourself to feel comfortable and safe and in your place. And then you can slowly bring your attention up your spine. Slowly, but surely to the top of your head. As you visualize a lotus opening, like a flower to the sun, welcoming in the light from above. and allow that relaxation to flow. Allow that light to come in from above, to connect with that earth energy from below and find a new higher balance within yourself. Safe, light, easy, comfortable. So breathing easy, connected. You want to allow your energy to expand now. So have a sense of yourself beyond yourself. Letting your energy rise, letting your energy increase and expand. You're bigger than your body. And breathe out anything you need to breathe out as you become more and more the truth of who you are. So now we'll move into clearing statements. So I'll say some statements and if it triggers you, that's perfectly fine. You want to allow yourself to process it. You want to allow yourself to breathe through it. It's nothing to figure out. Just breathing, just allowing whatever is to be, to dissolve, to evaporate, to flow through, You're letting go. So everywhere you feel that you are not free, maybe you feel stuck, you feel blocked, or you feel constrained, locked in in some way that is uncomfortable or undesirable to you. Anywhere you're feeling that, can you allow yourself to breathe into that and can you let that go? Everywhere you feel ashamed of yourself for feeling these, this way. Everywhere you're beating yourself up. Everywhere that is and everything that is, can you breathe into that? And can you let that go?
everywhere you feel upset. And the upset is stuck in your body. You're carrying this in your energy field. You're carrying this in your body. And you're ready to let it go. Everywhere that is, everywhere you're experiencing that, can you breathe into that? Can you allow it to be? Can you allow it to flow? Can you allow it to flow even more? And even more. And even more. Everywhere you feel pain, emotional pain, that is bottled up, that needs to be released, can you breathe into that? Can you let that go now? Can you be gentle with yourself? But allow yourself to open, to allow yourself to breathe like you need. And allow yourself the light that is here for you. To feel those spaces, to feel those places that maybe you have been withholding love, withholding light from yourself. Can you allow the light to reach those places now? Open up even more. So everywhere you're afraid of opening up, can you breathe into that and can you let that go? Everywhere you're afraid of change. Maybe you're afraid it'll be worse or you don't want to let go because you know you think it'll make it happen again or something. Anywhere you're playing these games with yourself to where you're holding on to pain, to emotional heaviness, anywhere and everything that is, can you breathe into that? Can you let that go? Can you allow yourself to flow with life? Everywhere you're hurt, everywhere you're traumatized, and you're ready to be healed, and you're ready to improve, to change, to transform everywhere and everything that is. Can you breathe into that? Can you let that go? Everywhere, everywhere you are ready for healing, can you allow that to be? Everywhere you think it serves you to be contracted, where you think it's helping you to hold on, everywhere and everything that is, can you breathe into that and can you let that go? Can you allow yourself to open to the light, to open to love, and to be transformed? Can you open even more? Can you flow even more? Can you breathe even easier? Can you allow yourself to be even lighter? Anything else preventing you from lightening up, from feeling good, from feeling harmonious, from feeling love, anything in the way that is ready to come up, that's ready to leave, that's ready to release and dissolve and evaporate, anything that in your awareness and your consciousness that is ready to let go, can you breathe into that? Can you let it go? Can you let it flow?
can you lighten up even more? You can imagine like a x-ray, that's like a red beam. It goes from your head to your toe, almost like a computer scan. Can you scan your body now deliberately? Not too fast, not too slow, but scan your body and see if there's anywhere in your body you feel contracted. Anywhere you feel disharmony in your body and or in your energy field. So can you be aware of that place, that area? And every time you breathe, can you breathe love into that area? You can even imagine the light filling in any dark places. And see yourself become more whole, more bright with every breath. So feeling better with every breath, feeling more whole with every breath. Present, slow, easy. Feeling more of an awe, more of a state of harmony, state of coming into one. And allow yourself to relax into that. There's no effort. So now I want you to visualize a rocket ship. And this rocket ship represents you. It represents this part of you that's willing to change, willing to break free from these past limitations that you thought about today. Or maybe some that's come up while we've been meditating. So allow yourself to visualize that now. You're You've got this ship, you've got this rocket ship, and you're ready to break free. Now you want to fuel this rocket ship. You want to give it the power it needs to break through the atmosphere. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to think of three things that you are grateful for. Starting one at a time, what is the first thing that you are grateful for that you really, really can feel gratitude, thankfulness in your body, in your heart and soul? Bring that to mind now. And allow yourself to be lifted up with that energy, empowered with this energy. And what's the second thing that you're grateful for? Allow yourself to really viscerally feel this. Fill up with this gratitude. What's the third thing that you are grateful for? Allow 
allowing yourself to really fill up with this gratitude. Now you want to think about someone or something that you love. What's something that you love? And allow yourself to feel this. And you want to ask yourself the question, I am happiest when I am being blank. I am happiest when I am being what? And you can imagine yourself doing whatever came to mind or are in that state of being. Allow yourself to feel those feelings. I am happiest when I am giving, I am happiest when I am loving. Allow yourself to see those things, to feel those things. So thinking about people that you want to send love to now, that you want to give good energy to now, letting that energy flow through you as you now, as you imagine, sharing your gift with the world, seeing it flow through you and blessing the lives of others and letting that fuel your rocket ship. How good it feels to share your gifts. How good it feels to love others. See people benefiting from your presence. Just really step into it. And allow yourself to be lifted up. Thinking now of anyone you want to send blessings to. Maybe somebody you know is struggling or somebody you love. Can you send them a blessing of light, a blessing of love through you as you? And notice now that your rocket ship is even more powerful. So visualizing your ship again, notice if there's any chains or anything that needs to be let go of so it can launch. Is there anything else that needs to be removed so that it can fly? And then so do it now. Remove any chains. Remove any barriers or boundaries in the way of this soaring. And breathe into anything you need to breathe into all the way to your diaphragm, all the way to the bottom of your belly. You can imagine now with the chains removed, the rocket ship beginning to take flight. Powerful power underneath it. And allow yourself to lift off, getting stronger, getting more confident, more sure, more clarity as you rise and gain empowerment, gain energy, vitality, 
rising, strengthening, lifting up, lifting off, stronger, surer, shooting through the air, leaving the old environment behind and moving into space, into clarity, into well-being, breaking through that atmosphere. Moving to more and more peace, headed, directed to more and more peace, more and more prosperity, more and more love. Easy, flowing, at peace. Because you are improving. You are headed to more and more improvement. So you can even, to give yourself a vision, to move to. Imagine what your life looks like when you are doing those things that you love again. This is where your rocket ship is headed, more and more of this. Doing the things that you feel the happiest when you do. Bliss. And allowing yourself to feel really good about this. So you can picture yourself sitting there again, connected above and below, at peace, at one, with all these loving souls here today, feeling better, feeling released, feeling filled up with energy and vitality and power, and taking that in, being one with it as we begin to come back to our bodies. I'll count us to 10, so slowly and surely. One, two, three. Slowly begin moving more into your body, but keeping your high energy, your high frequency. Four, five, feeling better and better, a smile on your face. Six, seven, feeling fresh energy, feeling hopeful, eight, nine, and you can stretch, you can wiggle your toes, as 10, we come back to the room. <laughs>